going around and around, orbiting. Our scores are very close. 31 for Steve, 33 for Jane as we head into our last games of this first night of the week. Last letters, Jane. I'm constant, Cecily. Thanks, Jane. R. Another one, thank you. X, a third. T, a fourth. N, a fifth consonant, please. L, switching to a vowel. E, another vowel, thank you. I, a third vowel. U, and a final consonant, thank you. And last letter, G. Time to think. Seven. That sounds good again, Steve. Six, Richard. Let's have that first. Uh, ruling. And your seven, Jane? Ringlet. Ringlet. Wow. There's a good find. I bet you Jane is exulting after that. It's a lovely uh, seven and exulting with the eight that I found, Richard. Well done, David. But uh, very nice seven points for Jane. So it's still anybody's game as we head for these last numbers. And uh, Steve, what combination this time? Okay. One large and five small, please. Thanks, Steve. One large and five small. And let's see what we have. Four, seven, six, one, eight, and the large, 100. The target to reach is 945. Can we get there? Nine four six. Nine four six is very good going, Jane. I was three away. Nine four two. Nine four two. Good work, but just bad luck. Steve, tell us what you did. Okay, Lily. Um, eight plus one is nine. Eight plus one is nine. Uh, times one hundred. Nine hundred. By one hundred is nine hundred. And that is seven times six is forty two. Seven by six is forty two. Um, uh, plus the four is forty six. Plus the four is forty six. And then added the two on. 946. Well done, Steve. Okay, so nicely done. We're only one away. Yeah. Are we there with you, uh, Lily? Yeah, I, I, I got there and um, I immediately thought when I saw this number, I need to find a nine and a five and um, with, with a little bit of tweakage, 945. So um, here's a nine. So eight plus one is nine. Let's make a five. Um, six minus four is two. And then... 7 minus this 2 is 5. So 100 plus the 5 by the 9 is 945. Elegant solution and uh, very nicely explained and a very nice tweakage package at the end. Good stuff, Lily. And well done to Steve. Another seven very important points. So only two between them. 38 for Steve, 40 for Jane. So on this first night of the week, with 10 points up for grabs, we have come to a conundrum decider. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. Steve. And I think it's overgrown. I think he thinks correctly. Let's check on the screen. And he is right. Of course, it is overgrown. So with those extra 10 points, taking him to 48, our winner tonight is Steve. 
But Jane, look, it's been uh, a great few nights that you've been with us. And once again, it was a great game tonight. Thank uh, you. Neck and neck for a lot of the time. Thank you. And it came down to that conundrum Thank showdown. You. Well done, Stephen. So, great play. And of course, a Macquarie Dictionary for you, Jane. Thank you. Well done, Jane. And Steve, very nicely done to uh, take it out with that conundrum at the end. We look forward to seeing you back tomorrow night. Thank you, Richard. Well, that's it for the start of the week, David. But, you know, I was interested in, um, in you exploring some of those backgrounds to names and, <laughs> yeah. uh, and more contemporary ones. Well, just imagine we could have a pilot, we could have a mechanic, uh, a surname such as aerobics instructor or stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> the future is going to have some interesting names in it. It will. See you tomorrow night. See you David. tomorrow. And, uh, Lily, all that talk about food at the beginning of the show. Anything interesting for dinner tonight? Well, definitely not venison, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I should think not. <laughs> See you tomorrow night, Lily. Good night. Well, that is it for this Monday night. A reminder, of course, to have a look at our website for all the details that you might need if you want to join us in the audience or even to become a contestant. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.